What is up YouTube? I'm here with the day 2 update. Uh, you guys really seem to like it yesterday, so I think we're gonna be doing this every day. And uh, every day I'm gonna try to share how my experience is with the builds that I'm gonna be playing during the league. So first, I wanna uh, show I finished all my favorite slots, including Feared. Did all my voice sounds, um, you know, completed my atlas fully, got 97.5. Just chilling pretty hard. I died three times since yesterday. I died to feared once and then I died twice mapping to this note. I highly don't recommend taking this note. This is uh, this is just a suicide man. Crystal resonance here but just needs to be insane to do this but I mean you know what it is kind of fun so I kept it for now. Probably not worth clicking. It takes quite a bit to kill the bosses sometimes especially if they have other mods on them. So that's how I those are the other two ribs from today. Or yesterday, I guess. Otherwise, um, I'm gonna go over the like most common mistakes and problems people have. Then I'm gonna talk about how I faced the issues that I had yesterday with the build. And uh, finally, there should be some showcase from the content I did yesterday. So, mistake number one. When it comes to automation support, people sometimes forget to enable it. It's this blue hand that you have to actually cast. Otherwise, the mines are not going off. When you cast it, they start going off. You don't need to do anything else, but uh, you have to do that. The other thing that people... Same with Call to Arms, by the way. The other people... The other thing people mess up is uh, having the detonate mines is triggered while you are moving, Mastery. Apparently that just breaks it, so I figured I would mention it one more time. Uh, the next step would be mana issues. The way you solve mana, you wanna have enough mana to throw a mine while you have all your mines on the ground reserved. For me that's 18, if you have a saboteur it's 20. And you wanna be able to have enough mana to throw more mines while they are on the ground when your mana flask is running. The way you usually accomplish that is by running a reservation cluster here with a grace reservation at the end, at least that's what I did. If you are running a sanctum, you could have zealotry or haste here. I was actually running a haste in sanctum, but I think I would recommend a zealotry to most people. But uh, for like general content, you wanna grace, you wanna have grace on the cluster. I went with three pointer because it just made my mana feel better. Picking up soul five, soul seven is a good band aid as well. And I also anointed for most of the day yesterday we prodigy perfection. This is a very decent anoint. It gives you a lot of mana and it was giving me like twenty eight percent spell damage, which is not bad at all. So this is what I was playing most of yesterday. The other thing that I did yesterday was getting uh, enlightened support. I actually got Enlightened 3 and upgraded to Enlightened 4, but uh, as you can see, I will showcase it without it. If I don't have my Dread Banner on, I can just do the same thing. My mana is still fine. Basically, the only thing that this allows me to do is run Dread Banner. You really don't need this. Dread Banner is decent, but it's definitely not mandatory. So just make sure your mana is enough to throw mines once all your mines are down. Unspecking Saboteur can help, Specking into Soul Siphon can help. And the reservation cluster is pretty much mandatory. And Lighten can help as well. Uh, next step would be a wand craft. So a lot of people have been asking me about how did I craft my wand and why is it so expensive? It is expensive to craft a wand that I was showing yesterday. I got a better one today. I will talk about it a bit later. But so what you want to have is at least 9.5% crit here. Maximum eye level 82. It needs to be a wand. Implicit spell damage. Uh, global crit multi and then empty prefix or crafted prefix right and what you do when you buy a wand like this you make sure that they, it's full on suffixes which this one is you craft suffixes gonna be change reforge chaos it guarantees pass on chaos and you can craft spell damage afterwards so you end up with crit chance crit multi spell damage and plus one chaos and yes it costs two divines but it's a lot cheaper than trying to buy fracture bases right now so that's what i would recommend this one works as well. All of these ones work completely fine, right? And the base is like 5c, so you basically pay exactly like 2 div and 10c for wand. So just make sure that if suffixes aren't full, you fill up the suffixes with exalts. So for example, for this one, you craft suffixes gonna be changed, you exalt it once, and then you do reforge chaos. So just make sure you don't mess that up, otherwise uh, it's quite easy. Uh, also be careful of the end requirement here. Just make sure you have enough end for whatever wand you're buying. Because some of these, like Prophecy, won't actually have a high end requirement. I will be linking the search in the description below. I mean, it might go up in price a little bit, 
But you can always craft these ones with uh, crit chance essences. I think it's essence of loading. So you just spend those until you hit crit multi and then you could do the same thing. But uh, right now it's better to buy them. It's cheaper. Uh, otherwise, that's pretty much it for the current uh, tips I would give. Let's take a look at my current build. This is my setup right now. I basically have the uh, DPS that I was planning to have at the end of the build when I was uh, doing pre-lease RPOBs. Uh, it shows 35 mil here uh, and uh, there's like some small upgrades I can get like levels on white map. this will actually help quite a bit but otherwise uh, you know the damage is pretty good so let's talk about the upgrades I got one thing I want to mention though I guess I was wrong on league start I well I wasn't wrong I just didn't know how good automation would be I did switch out blast chain for high impact mine because I never disabled my automation so I actually never get my blast chains and I think if that's the case, you should just play high impact. Technically, if you micromanage your automation, it, blast chain could still be better, but it just feels so good that I don't want to bother. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be using blast chain at this on this character anymore. It's just gonna be always high impact. Now let's take a look at the gear. My wand, I actually upgraded since yesterday. I missed a few times. I threw like another 10 or 12 divines on this it was probably not worth it but i just wanted to have a six mod wand no i mean currency comes and goes it's all good double damage mod focus it's a decent suffix and uh, it will help especially with burst i i already talked about how to craft this wand in uh, all the previous videos but it is a free mod uh, resonator with shattering metallic corroded after that you annul try to remove one suffix uh, suffix is gonna be changed, reforge grid, and from there you usually will have to go with Veld Chaos, but uh, it's a little more complicated there. Sometimes it will be just enough to craft. I would suggest settle for 5 mod 1, the 6 mod is not worth the cost, most of the time. Shield, so I got fraction spell damage, and I spammed um, Dread Essences for crit spell into double good suffix, which in this case was Old and Cold Dress. Then you do suffix is gonna be changed, reforge chaos, guarantee plus 1 chaos, craft life. You know, pretty pretty simple. And some research. Oh, I really should get a better roll on this and some research, but he has the same thing still. Carcass Jack, I bought a plus two AoE for four divines yesterday, and then I uh, lost a few dated few things, but we got there eventually. Uh, I don't know if Carcass Jack is the play, honestly. I've just been enjoying the extra AoE while mapping, since I did a lot of mapping. Restless Ward is still good. Uh, Rare Sadis is still good. Go with any of that. You can't really go wrong. Gloves, uh, I have cold exposure because I'm using a frostbite drink right here. You just make sure the exposure actually matches the curse you use. Otherwise it's just uh, otherwise it's just resist, so nothing special. Including chaos stress, which I actually fixed from yesterday completely. If you remember yesterday I was like minus 20, now I'm plus 52. Uh, I got it on gloves, boots and belt. And uh, it feels a lot better. I no longer died to chaos uh, damage. Speaking of boots, I actually straight up bought these boots for 10 divines because they had the exact stats I wanted. So I wanted element avoidance and I wanted uh, suppression and chaos stress. And this even had the best uh, move speed mod for me. So I just straight up paid the 10 div and bought them. It is a little annoying, you know, 10 div is a lot, but it was worth it because crafting this exact pair of boots would probably be more expensive. The element avoidance on these boots and the implicit is combined with ancestral vision to give us a 100% uh, element avoidance because we have 100% suppression, ancestral vision gives us 50 and the boots give us 51, so total 101%, we are just immune. Uh, for amulet, I did, uh, I got fractured all attributes, I spammed the... Uh, Scorn Essence again for crit multi, hit all res, suffix is gonna be changed, reforge chaos, I mean we are seeing a pattern here right? And then crafted life, ring I already talked about, uh, again frostbite, flammability, conductivity all good, technically flammability and weakness slightly better, but don't worry about it too much, just get whichever ring is more efficient, especially early on. Profit proxy that's staying on forever, and a belt, I actually got a belt upgrade since then, since uh, this. It's not a big upgrade, but it is a bit better prefixes, a bit better suffixes. So I gained a even more chaos res since that import. I'm at 57 now. Basically, you buy a fractured chaos res and you spam uh, zeal essences until you hit something decent. Not too hard to get a belt like this. Uh, one big upgrade is balance of terror. So 
you do add despair to your build to be able to inflict vader but you're not trying to curse the boss with despair you just cast it anywhere and then for 10 seconds you have a buff that all your hits uh inflict vader or all your minds and you can drop vader totems completely this is super strong and you should probably be getting it uh, i would say after you get your major gear upgrades oh sorry speaking of major gear upgrades i kind of forgot to mention this earlier hopefully people will actually watch all the way to this section uh, people often ask me what is the gear order you should be upgrading your character in. So what I recommend is go for Dread Arc first, obviously, but that's like, hopefully you don't need that for now. Profane Proxy, Curse on Hit Ring, then a Wand to replace your Dread Arc because you already have Curse on Hit there. And the Wand needs to work with Sensor Visage decently, so it has to be at least decent crit, and then you buy Sensor Visage. So Rings, Wand, Sensor Visage. And then uh, clusters, you probably want to get 8 point spot damage initially because chaos might be too expensive. Mediums are very very good. Again, I will reiterate this because I've seen people run into a problem. Uh, you want to get eye level 50 plus uh, trap and mine cluster and then reforge crit. It needs to be 50 plus. Same for the chaos cluster, it needs to be 50 plus. Ideally in a 50 to 67 range, but if it's higher then it's fine as well. But 50 to 67 is a lot easier to roll, you just buy aberrant fossils and... Hopefully you hit this exact cluster with uh, Unholy Grace and Touch of Cruelty at the start, but even if you have like Unwavering e Evil here, it doesn't really matter. All the all the cluster notes on Chaos notes are good pretty much. But yeah, that was uh, Balance of Terror, and I also got another unique jewel, and that is uh, Little Pride. This one I would recommend skipping for most people, unless you know how uh, Finding Timeless Jewels works in POB. You would do what I did at least, is you Jewel Socket Acrobatics, right and then you do search for node and here you would look for double damage and fist taken as fire and then uh i'm not sure where you pick up the the, uh, the distance from oh no it's this one yeah, yeah you click filter nodes and then you search and that's how i found my jewel it's five percent fist has taken four percent maximum life and five percent double damage but this is like a very end upgrade i would definitely not worry about this like this it's pretty hard to get a good little pride here because it's the slot that every data uses as well so probably wouldn't bother but it is there and it is an end game upgrade eventually another thing that i used to band-aid my build that someone in chat suggested that i completely forgot they added is i added six six suppression through tattoos because i was sitting at 95 suppression and i didn't want to sacrifice the uh, glove implicit because exposure is a lot better so you can if you have enough decks you can just fix uh, suppression with tattoos eventually at least some of it right so that's really nice and otherwise uh, i think i covered everything that i wanted about the build Enjoy the showcase of the build uh, at the end, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye everyone, have a nice day. If you like these uh, short summaries, please make sure to comment, subscribe, like. It helps a lot, it puts the video out there, and uh, it makes me keep going. Bye everyone, enjoy the show. I mean, is this really that hard? Minus max versus extra lightning? Okay, this is pretty f***ing hard. We have 20% XP, we're gonna be leaving this with zero. Send it. Oh man, where is Hydra? There, please spawn first. Nice. Oh, turns out sometimes all you need is damage. <laughs> well, I mean, I will take it. I won't complain. <laughs> but uh, sometimes all you need is damage. Minus max, fist as extra, no problem. Give me like 70 quant. 90 quant? <sighs> sure. Let's try it. I already regret putting that in.
man. This is just so good. Why is this so good? I don't understand. Like, why am I not dying in like a 90 quant Elder Slayers? I mean, I will take it. I have no idea because how much did I invest into the build is not really what this build is worth. Since prices do change. Dude, I always drop this dumbass belt. It's over, man. I hate killing mavens. I'm selling the next one. I'm bleeding at X speed. Ah, but at X speed is kind of whatever. Stop interrupting my work. You do you have two curses of Ignis and first bite? I do, and then I have despair that doesn't do anything except uh, balance of terror. Okay, yeah, man. Oh, chains of castigation. 78 C, 65 C or something. I'm gonna run it. Actually, let me check sandstone price. I'm not gonna run it. Sandstone price is low. 